America's most depressed city, here's reason why. For the next few days, I'm going to explore what it's like to live in the most depressed city in America. Billings is the most depressed city in the United States, and we're using the top three suicide categories nationwide. When you told me that many people suffer in silence, I was a little skeptical at first. I feel like not always what would make you happy. Billings is known to be the most depressed city in the United States. Do you guys think that holds? I had read an article about that, no. I did not think that many kids were motivated. Would you agree with Satan? Yeah, here. I do feel like there is sometimes a futile okay. I feel like it's kind of like, what's the use? Sometimes, what do you think cow people who come in here seek to force their agendas on a Montana lifestyle, in my perspective, even though therapy and counseling are still relatively new here? Reality is reality, and those who are real know each other. Let's go, my guy. Bring it in. What makes you guys happy? Spending time with my family, going fishing my husband and my kids while they're still alive. I like this guy. You guys don't seem depressed at all, so keep spreading the love while he spreads it. Have a great night. All right, fantastic meeting. You may be perplexed as to why this is the most depressed city in America, but since it's only the first day and the people I spoke with were generally quite positive, I was curious to find out if there was more to Billings than meets the eye. Cold Plunge Hello my guy, great to meet you, man. This is Jacob, a subscriber of mine who will be my guide for the rest of the day. He'll give me an inside look into Billings, Montana, and what causes people to feel the way they do. The city is known for being the saddest and most depressing in the country, and I've seen a lot of incidents firsthand, including robberies, violent outbursts, and violent outbursts. Dogs are extremely bad here right now, people get inside, and they have nothing to do. Jacob shared with me a startling statistic. Montana was the third highest ranking state in the US for suicide rates. The problem with depression and sadness is that they are not visible, and the majority of people who experience these emotions never know. For those of you who have watched my channel, you are aware that I have experienced depression myself, and one of the things that has helped me is cold exposure therapy. I wanted to demonstrate to Jacob why we are here, to challenge yourself daily, improve mental health, and end depression. We're here, dude, and this is awful. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Get down, this is crazy. This is the most depressing place in America, and yet, here we are. This is how it looks, dude. Oh my god, go Jacob, what advice would you give to someone who is watching and is experiencing it? Reach out, like right now. Say something, don't be afraid. No one will judge you at all. Everyone has been through it, and everyone will go through it eventually. We're here for a reason, we just don't know what it is. This is how you get better every day. Step outside of your comfort zone. Do things that scare you. I believe the thing that changed my life the most was simply saying, one, two, three, oh God, let's go. That's how you develop happiness, dude. I don't care anymore. I'm doing what I want and live by my rules. Though civilians may experience difficulties, the issue that arose was, who else is experiencing difficulties that we are unaware of about mental health today? My name is Mike Freeman. I work as a police officer for the Billings Police Department. All right, so your boys are riding along. According to statistics, today is the most depressed city in America. What first comes to mind when you learn that Montana is lagging behind other states in terms of mental health and depression? Yes, I am missing that kind of stuff. Do you have any specific experience coping with mental health issues such as depression or anxiety? This type of work in this field is not easy. In fact, I think it's something that we deal with and witness that most people don't see. It's also one of those situations where mental health is discussed, but not as much on the law enforcement side. We struggle with that. In addition, there are a lot of decisions that we have to make that are stressful. You have to make the right choice quickly. I know that's difficult. Therefore, I was very respectful of that. We traveled to the police station to speak with Sergeant Stovall, who provided us with his insights regarding first responders experiencing mental health problems. Billing's civilian population is facing hardship. But what about law enforcement? It seems that not everyone talks about the people we don't think are struggling. 
So have you personally experienced any difficulties or dealt with depression while serving in law enforcement? After all, we're only human and we carry our burdens with us when we go home. I was involved in a shooting in 2017. I was diagnosed with PTSD, which resulted in substance abuse problems. I got a DUI in 2020, and you know all the things that led up to that. So it's just a matter of finding new coping mechanisms and how to deal with it. Halfway through our conversation after our conversation, I asked Surgeon Stovall if Billings had any resources for veterans which led me to the Adaptive Performance Center. Surgeon Stovall mentioned the peer support program for police officers called Getting Through the Grind, which helps officers navigate the stresses of police work over a long career. The veterans only Jim and Billings large man, okay, Joe in the house, tell me a little about yourself and what you do. Stevenson, Joe, I'm currently in the National Guard. I've been in for about 12 years. I'm a career counselor based on a billing service. My prior MOS is a military police okay. It's awesome you ready to hit a leg day going on, yeah, halfway through a workout. I had the privilege of hearing Joe's story on how he's battled depression and thoughts of suicide throughout his life. People don't realize you go through issues back at home or issues there that people don't see. You go through, yeah, and me coming home to situations was really difficult. But I knew I had places to fall back on two people, they'll fall back on you're coming home to something completely different after being gone for like nine to 10 months, yeah. Then you come home and you feel like a stranger, it's everything else people move on uh, while you're while you're deployed then. When you come back home, you're still stuck to when you left. I'd say the last two months, it's been really good. It's been good, hell yeah. Let's go baby, good work. We got through a crazy adventure coming up, yeah. So you're definitely in, oh, I'm down man, 100 crazy adventure. Is coming soon UTV ride for my final day in Billings I organized at UTV ride with some of the people that I've met during my time here. Let's go yeah yeah. Trying to gain insight into Billings had created such a massive wave in the town that I even made it onto the news to further spread the awareness about mental health being able to meet. So many amazing people and hear their stories of overcoming depression and adversity showed me that despite the hardships we face, there is a light at the end of the tunnel words of wisdom I will carry with me for the rest of my life. I actually tempted suicide. Whenever you get to that point, don't be afraid to get help. It's recognizing there is light at the end of the tunnel. What anybody thinks about you be grateful for all the things that are good in my life. Instead of focusing on the one thing here, we all are gonna face struggles in our lives. But the one thing that we can do is to be kind to each other, listen to each other and always be willing to help those in need, we can't make the world change overnight. But we can start by making changes in the way we choose to live as citizens of the places in which we live. That was crazy and so fantastic, guys. That was sweet, pure dopamine, first of all. I want to say I love you guys. It was a pleasure bonding with you. I hope that we're friends forever. Okay, for real. You guys are amazing. Thanks for making it such an amazing trip. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.